Operate Certified Meteorologist, Xavier Colon. Good evening and happy Saturday, everybody. Here we have a live look outside at our Syntex Seamless Gutter Sky Tracker. As you can see, it's a nice night outside. Pretty clear, some nice sun before, but here's our current conditions right now. 91 degrees, also feels like 91 degrees. Low humidity and low dew point making it feel like the same. We also have 10 mile an hour winds coming for our east. We also had some storms come through today, but those storms are now down to our south and to our west. Those came through and left some, some sizable hail and also some large rain bursts through as well. So our temperatures right now, we're sitting at, a, um, at lower 90s to upper 80s. We have our temperatures going through. We have our satellite loop right now. We can see we have this little disturbance going on. That's a little off to our west, so we're not going to really be concerned about that because that's going to really to affect us. Then we go over to tracking the tropics. We're on Hurricane Lee. We're now going to be tracking that using this track over here. We have winds sustained at 115 miles per hour, so that is a Category 3 hurricane. It is moving at west-northwest at 10 miles per hour. So let's track this hurricane and see where it's going. We can use it using the National Hurricane Center tracker. We can see it starts to intensify and start to strengthen to a category four, but then as soon as it takes that turn, it starts to weaken slightly to get to that category three hurricane. Then we have our models here. Yet again, these are models, so they're not really predictions, and we don't know if these for certain, but most like we were going up or curving at this certain time. It's all about that curve that comes through that's really gonna dictate where the hurricane goes. It's gonna curve and go towards Canada, but yet again, those are models we don't know for sure yet. So our future cast back at home, we're starting here at midnight on Sunday. Then we go through the morning hours. We can see starting off a little bit partly cloudy, keeping it in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Then as we go into the afternoon hours again, a little bit cloudy, mid to upper 80s. Then as we go to the after the evening hours, we're still pretty clear, upper 90s to mid, uh, sorry, lower 90s to mid 90s throughout the area. Then as we go into the overnight hours, this is where we see our first chance of showers. Our sl slight chance of showers comes through at about seven in the morning. Then as we go throughout the morning hours, those start to dissipate away with the morning coming through. Then as we go into the evening, pretty cloudy throughout the day, mid to lower 80s. Then as we have our tonight, we're going 73 degrees, mostly clear, winds out of the east going 5 to 15 miles per hour. We're going to check the local area as well. We can see everybody's in the mid to lower 70s. We have 69 in Mahaya, 73 in Waco, 74 even in Temple. So for tomorrow, we have our 97 degrees for a high, mostly sunny. East winds out going up 5 to 10 miles per hour. We also check the local area as well. Everybody's in the mid to upper 90s. 97 in College Station, also in Hearn and Temple and Waco. Also 94 in Mahaya, keeping it relatively warm to the mid to upper 70s. So for our 10 day, we was really important tomorrow. We have our front on Wednesday and that's going to bring those chances of rain up, but those temperatures down into the mid to lower 80s. We can see keeping those temperatures in the upper 90s until we get to Tuesday. Then we dip down into the lower 80s. Then we crack those 90s again, going through Sunday through Tuesday, overnight lows into the upper 60s into the lower 70s. Then as we go into the Bryan and College Station, similar trend, but a little bit warmer, keeping those 90s through Tuesday, but the chances of those rain is still from Monday through Friday because of that front coming through, keeping it a little bit cooler, down to 87 degrees on Wednesday. Then as we go into the next week, back up into the 90s, into the mid to upper 90s. And for the overnight lows, we're having up to the upper 60s and into the lower 70s. That's your latest news. Weather forecast, hand it back to you. Thank you.